Okay. <laughs> okay, well, this is awkward. Aloha, Fenty Fairies. Wow, I haven't done that in literally two years. Um, but it's Lauren here, now going by Mars. I don't know how many people, if any, this video will reach. And I know at this point, most of you don't really care for an update or explanation on my disappearance. However, because of the messages I've seen asking for my whereabouts since I've returned back to Roblox a couple days ago, I've decided I owe whoever's willing to listen some kind of explanation. First and foremost, I'm alive and thriving. While it sucks I had to leave YouTube behind, it's given me the time and focus I needed to be the happiest I've ever been ever i've had the chance to pursue so many of my passions and interests and pick up on old hobbies and be at my most healthiest and i think that above all is the most important thing and so you know this isn't necessarily a decision that i regret although i do wish i would have approached leaving differently i guess now for the elephant in the room why did i leave so abruptly there's a number of reasons why, but I think before I explain, I should give context as to why I made this channel in the first place because it correlates a lot to why I left for when I did. So here is the Lauren Fenty lore, I guess. From the start, my intention was never ever ever to become a properly established YouTuber. I was just a 17 year old girl in the midst of a pandemic with too much time in her hands and an eagerness to play games based on my favorite shows such as The Vampire Diaries and seeing so many people struggling with the mechanics inspired me to make a channel to post a tutorial and that was kind of that. I didn't expect anything from it and I was going to just drop the channel like sign out and everything then and there after posting that one video because that was its one and only purpose there were zero intentions for fame attention numbers or money i just wanted to help people but quickly realized i enjoyed the process of making videos especially seeing as i was already pretending to be a youtuber for fun off camera i figured might as well go all the way you know what i'm saying but anyways somehow some way my channel got a lot of attention and began growing overwhelmingly fast and with that came lots of expectations, love, hate, support, rumors, everything under the sun. And it didn't take long for YouTube to feel more like a career than a fun little hobby like it was originally intended. Now, to actually address why I left, which is what I'm sure most, if anybody in here is watching this, is wondering. A part of me was still willing to overcome how overwhelming everything was so I can continue to film for all of you, but I would have never anticipated how stressful and time-consuming college was going to be for me. It was a major transitional period for me where not only was I living far from every last person I've I've known my whole life, but also attending an academically rigorous school under a challenging major. On top of that, during my first week after move-in day, I realized my monitor must have been dropped by one of the movers because it had like a huge crack and it wasn't like an external issue, it was like a part of the I don't even know how to explain it, but it was just a mess. And that was kind of the nail in the coffin for me because I was already so hesitant about balancing in YouTube, but to see my monitor, which I had only owned for two months, already damaged was what really sealed the deal for me. I was already allocating a lot of my money towards school and basic necessities like groceries, so a new monitor was the very last of my priorities. And I wanted to make an announcement under my community tab, but I was under the assumption the break wouldn't be too lengthy, so that wouldn't be a necessity. However, my classes started taking up literally all of my time to the point I had no kind of social life and my mental health declined for a bit by then. So YouTube eventually wasn't even a forethought, like I was just trying to survive on being real with y'all. And now I'm 20 and have a better grip on my life, my wellness, and how to balance things. Which brings us back to another possible question you guys may have. Am I coming back? Is this a comeback? I honestly am not too sure how to answer this. I'm highly considering coming back, but approaching things differently from how I did two years ago. Like for one, I'd make a lot more gameplay series based videos because as a kid, I loved watching people create their own storylines and film them on all sorts of games such as Roblox. And writing is also just something that I'm very passionate about. Like I've always loved to write stories, read stories and create. And I feel like that would be a really nice way of marrying two things that I enjoy. And a good example of that was my H2O series, which I unfortunately never finished. It was a lot of work to execute, but I enjoyed writing, filming, and editing it, editing it thoroughly. Gameplays were also very fun for me, but I felt like I couldn't really do it because people were mainly asking for tutorials and updates. And even though, like I said, 
For me, this was never about numbers or fame. Since I had an audience, I felt at that point I owed it to you guys to post what you wanted to see, which is why I kind of held back on the gameplays and did mainly tutorials and updates. While those types of videos won't just disappear from my channel if I choose to continue, there would be a lot less of that and more focus on me just playing and having fun and, you know, doing my own thing. It'll be a lot more humorous, go with the flow, lighthearted. And that doesn't mean I won't be open to suggestions and feedback, I just don't want this to stop being a fun thing for me and I don't want it to feel like work, which was exactly the case two years ago. If this potential transition is something you're unable to get behind or feel as though you wouldn't enjoy, you are more than welcome to unsubscribe. I won't take any of that personally because as I said, none of this was ever for fame and popularity and it never will be. That's the very last thing that I care about. I just want to do my own thing and be happy and that's that. Apart from Roblox, I hope to someday branch out into other games. There's a lot of other games outside of Roblox that I enjoy. I don't know if I'm going to frequently post those, but I do know in the future I would like to maybe do something in relation to those games but like i said i don't expect a lot of people to be behind that because for those of you that are still here and maybe still watching i know that's not what you came here for and if that's the case like i said you are free to go now that brings us to the next topic which is a potential rebrand if i do continue my channel so if i was to return i would definitely change my channel name and i'm not sure what exactly that name would be yet but it will definitely include Mars, which is the new name that I go by because it's been my online alias for a while now and it just feels more me than what Lauren was because Lauren was an online alias that I chose when I was younger and a huge fan of Fifth Harmony, particularly Lauren Horegi. And now, you know, not to say I don't support my girl Lauren no more, but you know, it's just not my name, it's not my thing. So I'm sticking to Mars. And like I said, if I move through with this rebrand, which is more likely than it is not you can expect to start seeing uploads maybe sometime in august i'm not too sure because i still have to sort of familiarize myself with editing and even just playing games in general because that's another thing like apart from just putting a stop to the uploads i also wasn't really playing games period like my whole life became literally everything else but gaming and the online world so i had to get myself reacquainted with that what shouldn't take me very long and yeah, I already have a few potential video ideas there, so there's a bit of a plan in motion, but like, I'm not too sure once again, like, this is still all very brand new. Um, all I'll be needing for- from whoever's still here is just a little bit more time. And yeah, with that being said, if there's any video suggestions you guys have, by all means let me know. And yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening, regardless of whether or not you choose to stick around. And thank you to everyone who's had nothing but genuine concern for me over the last two years. I unfortunately didn't see any of those messages and comments and stuff till now. And I really do feel bad, like I wish I had approached leaving differently but you know i was only 18 at the time i was a kid which i know legally 18 isn't considered a child but in my eyes it's still a child because developmentally you're not you're not in a place to make wise decisions until i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna put the ramble to an end right there because if i start rambling i'm never gonna stop but um point of the matter is i was still a kid at the time and i was still going through a lot of transitions and a lot of change and a lot of foreign experiences so i don't really hold it against myself how i handle things but i do wish it was done differently and yeah i hope that this video gave anyone who cares even the slightest bit some answers and that maybe i'm able to transition back into this at some point within the next few weeks as authentically as i can hope you guys have a good one i don't really know what else to say hopefully see you again soon i don't know i'll see you.